Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Corey. And Sydney. And we're playing something kind of different. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we saw this on Jesse Cox's channel. Uh, him and Dodger were playing through it, and we both thought it looked kind of interesting. Kind of reminds us of her story, but a little more actual gameplay. <laughs> yeah, her story, it was interesting, but it got boring and was hard to just keep going with. Yeah, whereas this has a, it, it's a story, but yeah, it's a murder mystery game that's all video based and it's, I don't know how this let's play is gonna go, if it's gonna be a let's play, if it's gonna be kind of like a good moment, if I'm just gonna put it all up in one go, I have no idea how long this is, but we're just gonna, okay, here we go. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. Dun dun dun. Okay, so we're... Uh, welcome to Edenton Village. Click the arrows to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, try your invest uh, try your investigate button to see Jenks investigate. Thank you. Uh, inventory icons. Yeah, blah blah blah. Okay. This is a very nice place. Yes, it is. Okay, so he said he wanted to talk to Simon and Emma. Um. Okay, this is the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, wait, but there's an investigate. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. <laughs> so what do you do when you find a random key? Naturally, you pick it up. Yeah. In no way it looked that nice. Uh. Okay. Eat so. in lodge. Mm-hmm. Oh, do the little investigative thing. Oh. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like homebrew equipment. 
Ah, this might come in handy. Yeah, just take whatever you want, buddy. Klepto much? One of the reviews said the acting for this game was great. Was that great acting just then? Where he's like, I'm stealing a, I'm stealing a screwdriver. Well, even Jesse and Dodger say that it makes it funnier because everyone else acts normal and he acts a little over the top. But is home? Home? Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks. I'm investigating. I think, I didn't think this guy finished. is very believable. Um, yeah. Thank you. No, he's not the best actor now. So is homebrew like normal in England? Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Oh, she this is Inspector like James Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Those some tiny hallways. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. <sighs> but seriously, who makes their own alcohol? That's not a normal thing to do. Okay, your first interview. First pick an item you want to ask about, then click ask to see whether C. Jenks asked them about it. Blah, blah, blah. Very self-explanatory. It... Yes, yes, yes. I already, I already know how this works. I'm just... When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known, Kate? That would be when we started Everyone Atlas. Everyone has really pale eyes. Three months ago? Did you socialize outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? Like, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood. Her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, I don't think there's anything weird there. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't this think guy so. This weirds me out. Never seen it before. Yeah. He's awkward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to find a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. Okay. Um, can't ask about the screwdriver we stole. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Yeah, herbs and stuff. Um, whoop, I forgot, I forgot my mouse. Um, makes his own homebrew. Um, I don't think there are any contradictions yet, right? No, probably not. Okay, let's go talk to Emma. Thank you. Probably be back so later. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. Okay. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. 
She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. How arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Okay. Last saw Kate in the college library on Thursday. Um, yeah. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I I don't think so. Okay. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. To fix it? But he said he was just going to buy a new one. Oh, but that's not anyway. Old bottles. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Okay, so any contradictions you can think of? Okay. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. It's too early to have contradictions. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Okay. So, um, so body was found that way. But as video games have taught me, never go the correct way first. Well, that's spooky. Maybe not in here. Okay. Uh, nothing to investigate. Jetty. What the frick's a jetty? It's like a piece of jewelry just there, a... stuck between the boards. Like well, a... truly wedged that in. Looks like a dock. Well, I mean, that's kind of basically what it is. But so this jetty is... is. But a jetty is more of just kind of like a viewing thing. Huh. Whereas a dock is meant for like actually getting into boats and. How do you know that? Just because. <laughs> Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Mm -hmm. So just put your fingerprints all over it. I know. There's people over there. Is the water moving? Yeah. That's weird. But those people don't have, definitely aren't moving, so only part of this picture is video. Um, should we keep going? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Nope, still nothing. Two atlas. Wait, hold on. I, I point, uh, there was a thing on... I'll show you what it was on our way back. Talk to atlas. Or not. Have to come back later, I think. Just jump the fence. Oh, you can't see it from this angle. Here, I'll go this way and then show you. Doesn't that, it's a bird like the thing we found. Right? Yeah. Am I reading too much into it, you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a freaking bird. Um, this is the way to go. Yeah. Uh... Let's go ahead. Ahead? Yeah. Okay. I don't think we need to ask him about anything. I mean, I think just going back to ask him about the pendant is kind of stupid. Okay, well, let's go to the pub, because... Really? Or not. Not open at five? Um... Brandon's house. Who's Brandon? Uh, uh, apparently nothing for us yet. Uh, what's this? Nope, that's... Pause menu? This is the map button. Yep. 
It says that this is where Paula and Ryan Rand live. Okay. I think. Okay, well... But that says behind Brandon's house. Well, it says it's behind Brandon house. There's no S. Oh. Could be the name of it. Yeah, probably. Called the Chief. No. And... Nothing. Okay, so I think our only... Looks like we have to talk to them. Then. Okay. So we seriously just gotta go back and ask them about a pendant. I guess. Whoop. Let's talk to... A few more questions, if you don't mind. Okay, boop. Recognize this at all? It does remind me of something. I don't know. I've seen it somewhere, but... I... No, I don't know. Movie mouse. Yeah. I keep forgetting. Uh... That's it. Okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. Ever seen this? He's so goofy. Creepy. Looks like, uh. That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewelry, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer. Oh, I said secret. Mm -hmm. She was way over there. See? What's with the That's microscope how it in looked. the background? It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. What's she getting her PhD in? So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. Let's go back and ask I'm starting about to wish that. I'd brought a spare like evidence the, bag. This? Yeah, the card thingy. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Oh, I was already on it. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. In college. That's what college is all about. He said he met Kate three he, months ago. And he's... Ooh. Okay, go do that. So it's a contradiction and... Mm, no love one. Nope. Yeah. Nice catch. Uh -huh. Psycho. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. Find that you hard didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um, no, no, <laughs> not at all. Well, that wasn't creepy. Oh. Yay. Yay. So that was the clue we needed to find, I guess. So Simon okay. did know Kate at college. Why would he lie about go behind that? The... Maybe he oh. knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. I was like, what the... Broken window, recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Why did it show us? Um. Okay. Hmm. Try the key. Is this random key we found really gonna be just, oh yeah. You're kidding me. Well, they're just making it nice and easy for us, aren't they? Nice and predictable. Oh, investigate. Atlas. It is a cult. I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? Probably Ryan's. Especially since it's labeled Atlas. Atlas. Yeah. Investigate behind the shelves. Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Really, dude? It's too dark to tell. 
Um, that appears to be everything. Aside from him being too blind to see what's behind the friggin' shell. Yeah. Like, honestly, you have to have, like, a lighter or a cell phone or something you could use to produce a little bit of light. Yeah. Although we don't know what year this game takes place in. We've yet to see anyone with a smartphone. Uh, I will ring the bell. Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. Why does everyone act so guilty? Yeah. Like the least guilty What's acting person we've seen so far. There's is been Emma. an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student. Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders. Yes. I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. Completely empty notebook. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not notice that? Nope. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. <laughs> I think someone well, was thinking B-word. When was the last time you saw her? What, B-word badger? <laughs> Friday. <laughs> she popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. But she said she just walked in, handed you 20, 20 pounds, and left. Or a breakage. So maybe the window? I mean, why um, would they show a spoken window unless Kate didn't do it? Uh, I have a license. Look at that. Oh. Is that not the tape from the window? Yes, it is. Huh. That's some very weird tape. Have you seen this before? I've never <clears> seen, <throat> like... Colored oh, tape before. Yeah. It looks so like you a band know if Kate had lost yeah. it. Yeah. I've seen no colored idea. tape like green and blue, but not like polka dots and crap on it. Um, so I hadn't seen her license. Apparently in England they don't ask to see license They don't license card much. people? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you can drink at 18. That's true. Um, wouldn't know wouldn't about that. that. Don't care. <laughs> well, alcohol. But you can ask about his homebrew. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Well, I mean, she does run does a bar. Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Microbrewery. I think it just like is a fancy term for like they how they get they use all like chemistry and stuff to make beer taste good. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta ask about this. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. Okay. Broken window. How did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients. I don't think are um, suitable. You're kind of a creepy woman. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna say this. We're gonna do the window and the yeah money. Um, window bowl approximately six thirty. But she said that she that well. Kate came in at seven. Yeah. Which could give enough time for. Well, yeah, I guess. It I was thought that I interpreted. Seven. Uh, oh wait, no, this was the one I was supposed to do. Hadoi. Uh, yeah. So I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I wasn't either. Eh? What? Um. Okay. Well, let's let's take a closer look. Kate gave Rebecca twenty dollars for breakage. That has to be. That has to be it. Yeah. Why isn't it working? Okay, let's look at these. Taped over window to make it safer. Window broken. 
Oh, no argument. Oh. Don't know who broke the window. Let's try that one. There okay. we go. Huh. Yay. So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? for a window? Well, uh, I suppose it could have been. So they'd have to yeah. replace the entire window. Could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. Or all the glass. But you don't know who she was arguing with. Yeah, that'd be more expensive no, than 20 bucks. Sure. It's 20 Last pounds, round. though. Which isn't that much different and be about equal to twenty five dollars. Kate had broken yeah. the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out okay, before now, unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Do you know what this is? That's supposed oh, to be cardboard. About that. It looks yeah. like clay. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with no, one it of looks Ryan's like cardboard methods covered in paper on the course. Machine, to me. Go on. No. Well. Masks allow you to play it being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. Mm. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. Huh. Why is that important for a friggin' business class? To pretend to be someone else? Because in business, you got to be yourself. Yeah. And also, one thing I, I meant to say this earlier, I don't understand. Simon's been out of school for, like, a year and a half. Why is he attending a business class? <laughs> so maybe he wants to go for the PhD now. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't think she can't do it. So. Okay. Uh -huh. They have a restaurant and a pub. I guess pubs are quite different from bars. You would never find a restaurant in a bar. <laughs> yeah. Well, At least I'm... not a proper bar. Yeah. Uh. Where should we go? Well, it's new time, so I say we go look at the lake at the very least. I was gonna say we but, should go probably yeah, talk to these two again. Yeah, we gotta talk to them again. because of that mask we gotta ask Simon about. Did the screen just flash or did I just have a stroke? Yep, it flashed. Okay, thank God. Uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Not that knocking, so I'm not. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Um, okay, so we have to start here. Yes. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. Okay. I You're feel like too that... busy drinking your own concoction. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this. Know anything about that? I haven't seen this one. But it looks a lot like an atlas mask. What about that symbol? Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? Oh. Well, you um, so well you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And the point is? Well, it's easier when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves. Right. What did you find out? That's something that I don't get. Well, it was advertised. Um, actually, I think I've still got the... Um... Like, it's still you. Everyone knows that's you under the mask. This is the advert that was at my college. It just uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three <laughs> years at business school. Can I keep that? Yeah, go for it. I suppose oh, that yeah. might be useful in as a conversational starter. In England, they only have three years of college instead of four. Oh. Because they don't have all the bullcrap requirement courses. Uh, okay. So, just Kate's about argument. That. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. Has <laughs> shifty eyes. Okay. Yeah, but seriously, um, what's up with the I want to just review maps? all these. I want to review all these, make sure it isn't. So he last saw her at the meeting, didn't socialize with her outside Atlas. Seemed uh, drunk often at Atlas. They came to college, but they didn't socialize. Didn't know anything about the license. Only way to get to work. Um, we have to find this James. Yeah. Um, thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the necklace at college. Uh, said he hardly ever visits the pub. Uh, 
Um, okay, I don't think he contradicted himself, do you? No. Thank you. Probably be back later. Uh, okay, well, I'll start with this. What do you know about Atlas? I know that it's, um, it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but it wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. That makes it sound even more cultish. I know. Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, no I, I went home last, last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We, we all went there quite a bit after college. Wait, is Rebecca your guys' age? Well, no, they all went there. She Ever the seen okay, this that's probably before? Right. I moved it out of the way. Nope, I haven't, sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. Okay, I just want to check something real quick. We, we, we didn't ask her about the window, did we? No. Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? The pub? Um, a broken window at the back? Yeah, I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. Well, don't you look smug saying that? Okay. In the college library on Thursday. But it could have been early Thursday yeah. before she went to visit her parents. But she she hung up on the Thursday part. Uh huh. So she she was about to say Friday. Didn't yeah, she? I feel like there's something weird going on. I don't know what. I uh, yeah. Um, what is, is she doing online? Why does everyone? I really hope you guys can't see the Skype notifications, because otherwise this is getting cut out. But like, what's mom what, doing on? What time is it? I can't. It's got to be like ten. I'll find your phone. You should probably keep track of that. Uh, well, while you do that, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, do would pubs serve wine? Because she said she doesn't like beer, but went to the place frequently I don't know <laughs> I don't believe bars here in America do but yeah what the frick's mom doing on yeah, Skype she told us she was going to bed like 30 minutes ago yeah well, I'm just gonna chuck this back in my bed cause if it vibrates I don't want it making lots of noise that's all for the moment thank you okay so mm. you gotta um, find something to catch her up in a lie because she didn't visit her parents on Thursday. Um, so let's see, from them, the only thing we got was the Atlas poster. Yeah. So I don't think we should go... Going in the woods, it's a different hour. Uh, there might actually be crap there. Should like, I check this way? Yeah. 